All right, so what we have is a Arduino. Got the motor driver here. I think it's a TB6600. Uh, NEMA 17. NEMA 17 HS4401. Arduino Uno. And here is a picture of my schematic if you can. I'm terrible at this stuff, but actually, I'm probably looking at you sideways. Might be kind of hard to see that. Anyways, okay, I do not know anything about writing Arduino code, but my brother in law is a robotics professor, so I told him what I wanted was code for an Arduino and the driver and the stepper motor where when I push the button, the motor will turn one direction while I'm holding it down and stop when I release, and then push the other button and it will go the opposite direction and stop when I release. And I found lots of them where I could hit a button and it would turn a certain rotation. I couldn't find anything uh, on YouTube that you push and it continuously moves until you release. So he wrote some code here, so watch this. We push this button, and it starts turning in one direction. Okay? I let up, and it stops. Push the other button, and it turns the opposite direction. And I play with the speed, I think that's the speed I want. What, what I'm trying to do here, and I don't know if this motor is going to be strong enough, but it's to turn a variable capacitor here that's the size of a football for a mag loop antenna for amateur radio. So I'll try to get a good picture here so you can see the pins, where they're going. I'll try to go slow. I could probably, if you want, I could um, scan this, which is a really amateur schematic drawing. <laughs> um, right now I'm running at 12.8 volts. When the motor is running, with the way I've got it set, it's drawing about one, one and a quarter, one and a, 1.3 amps. Oops. I can knock something loose. Oop. There we go. I think that button came out. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can see the dip switches on this. This is how the dip switches are set for the motor. It's... Oh, you know what? I think those dip switches got knocked because I don't think that's how they were originally. I think something may have gotten bumped on the dip switches. Hey, if it's working. <laughs> Okay. All right, so there you have it. Hit a button. Let's see, let's turn this way. Hit a button. Ooh, vibration. It goes the other way. So if you have any questions on the code, I probably can't help you. Once again, I didn't create the code. But uh, if you want, I could send you the my schematic here. Anyways, good luck.